Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Some Lost Fear. Um, we got ourselves, uh, oh, wrong button. We got ourselves some vocal seats, so let's use those. And take on these guys. We gotta, we gotta get Locke back to safety so we can get him revived. Oh, what is this? Oh, cool. We can use those just to teleport. Oh god. Maybe I should never do that. So, so, th so let's try out our new vocal suits. Why not? We have them. Might as well. Air blasts. Okay, so we still have our, our moves. We just have the added bonus of using giant mechs as we mess with them. Co-op, X-Strike. Okay. Cool. Ah, so these are original vocal suits. We've got a wounded man. He needs help. No sick bay on a winger. His only chance is to get back to the capital. Then let's get to the winger. This is excellent. What craftsmanship. <laughs> I'm sure to earn the praise of the Emperor for this. We did what you asked. Now get us back to the city. Yes, very well. We've got the Volca suits, so our work here is done. Time to return home. Okay, people, pull back our mission is a success. Tisk tisk. Was that your friend they just carried away? Poor kid. Are the rest of y'all alright? Tisk tisk. Don't worry. The medical tech here is in the capital is cutting edge. Your friend will be all patched up in no time. Thanks. I hope you're right. Go and say hello to, to Commander Galdra. Should be in the ward room. The ward... the ward room. The commander has probably already seen your friend, I bet. Tisk tisk. Alright, so what I was saying, uh, to catch you guys up, basically, um, Locke got hurt. I honestly wasn't that sad if he died. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, he's a kid and I'm heartless, but I just don't like his character. Um, we gotta go, we gotta go check him out. We gotta go see him. He's a, he's a cool character. He, he's okay. He's okay. We're not gonna go too overboard with that. He's a cool character. He's okay. I don't dislike him, but I could live without him. <laughs> uh, where is the word war room again? I feel like they're trying to say war room, and and it's cut. It's it's misspelled as ward room. Either that, or I'm I'm just continuously saying it wrong for some reason. Which is another possibility. I told you they were civilians. Why didn't you protect them? You know as well as I do, our priority was recovering those vocal suits. I heard he acted on his own, no doubt blinded by thoughts of reward. A despicable trash, a country bumpkin from the provinces. Wow. What was that? Kanata. It's a good thing that kid is a civilian or he'd be facing a military tribunal. He was a hindrance to our mission and nearly cost the lives of my soldiers. How can you say that about my friend? About Locke? Hm. I can't be expected to remember the name of a snot-nosed civilian. A brat who nearly ruined my mission. 
There you go, Kanata. Go! Well, then remember this. His name is Locke. His father gave his life in the Imperial Command. Not like some whimpering coward like you, who keeps out of danger and thinks only of his own fame. Why, you... You think you can speak to me like that? It's treason. I'll have you tortured and put to death. In that case, you can arrest me too. Nice. <laughs> Go on. Relax, these two are commoners, but I was born into royalty. I won't hit you. Just tell me how many holes you want me to put into you. Eek! Eek! He was born into royalty? Wait a minute, what? Are, are we just gonna miss that part? Galdra, why are you just standing there? Arrest them at once. Are you certain? Of course I'm certain. They dared to raise their hands to me. Assault, then? But I'm sure the great general Tradius would never allow himself to be assaulted by mere civilians. If such a thing were to get out, it would be a terrible blow to your reputation. But please, don't worry. I didn't see a thing. B -b but uh, I won't forget this. I'll have my revenge on you all. Make no mistake. Forgive me. I never imagined such a thing would happen to Locke. My deepest fears have been realized. I've ordered our best physicians to take charge of his treatment. I beg your forgiveness. Thank you for doing everything you can for him. Kanata, it'll be okay. He may not look it, but Locke is tough. It's true, I've been training him for years. He'll be back to his old self in no time. I just know it. So you have to obey even a Cretan like him, just because he's an officer. It sounds beyond frustrating. But I serve neither General Tradius nor the Imperial Command. I serve the citizens and the Emperor alone. My father was a local lord. Long ago, he was nearly overrun by the Imperial Command. The one who protected our people and called a halt to the army was the Emperor. Hmm. So he ordered the invasion and then he called it off himself. The invasion was planned in secret by a group of officers who wanted to feather their own nests through conquests. The Emperor apologized to my father and granted him autonomy. That's when I knew the Emperor was a fair and honorable man, and ever since then I... Oh, I just remembered. I have an emergency mission to pass along to you. somewhere I want you to go. Where's that? The heart of the capital. The Imperial Palace. Huh? The Imperial Palace? Isn't that where the Emperor lives? You don't mean the Emperor has called for us, do you? All I know is there was an order from the palace, but I don't know the details. I've already notified the palace guard, so I want you to go on ahead. To get to the palace, head out of the base area and head for the center of the city. I'll check on Locke and tell you what I find out about his condition. Good luck. Okay, well first, though, we're gonna head back into town, because I want to buy some items. Because I ran out of all my potions in that ruins. And we can't have that happening. Alright. Uh, 
Southgate. Give me the potions. Lots and lots of potions. I'm gonna take 50, I think, this time around. There you go. Uh, Phoenix Tears, not as many. We'll, we'll go with eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten's fine. Um, okay, that's fine. Just to have them. I don't want to blow through all my cash. That works, though. Uh, what is our HP looking? Yeah, we're good. Alright. Let's head to the palace. This is the Imperial Palace, huh? What's wrong, Van? Oh, nothing. Oh, I get it. You're just overwhelmed by how amazing it all is, right? <laughs> he said he was born into royalty, so he's either related to the the the, Imper the emperor here or another kingdom. Stop right there. Name yourselves. None may enter without permission. Um, we were told by Commander Galdra that somebody summoned us here. I love how, I don't know if that's kind of sloppy writing, I, I, I didn't want to really point it out too much, but how he says that and no one at all questions it, like, wait, you're royalty or something? <laughs> Did you say Commander Galdra? Forgive me, you must be Sir Kanata and his companions, please go on ahead. Like, I, th that felt kind of weird to me. I, I, I I didn't get any sense of the like stuff like that happening in, when I played Setsuna, uh, but I, I'm just I'm gonna let it go for now. It just is kind of strange that nobody would be like, "Wait a minute," <laughs> you know. This is a pretty pretty looking area, nice palace. Uh, Oh, this might not be the right way. I didn't know it was an elevator. Okay, it is. I wonder who it was that called us here anyway. It must be somebody pretty important if we're meeting at the palace. Could it be the Emperor himself? That elusive old guy. Are you serious? Lumina, are you okay? Y yeah, I'm fine, but what was that all about? I'd say that was rather lenient treatment of would-be assassins. You should be grateful. I don't know who you are. That wasn't very friendly. Is that how you, you do things at the palace? Assassins? Are you talking about us? Do you see anyone else here? Wait, you've got it all wrong. Relax, I won't kill you. I'll leave you at least alive enough to tell me who sent you here. If it's a fight you want, get ready. You won't find me an easy target. Vaughn? Why is this happening? Oh lord. Freezing block. Ooh, that hurt. Really badly. Oh, she's dead, I think. Oh, okay. Close, though. Now we can't even hit this guy. 
Jesus. Lightning bolts. Ow. And he crits? That's bull. Whatever with that. Oh, a bastard. Ow. ノズボよ。ボシル。これ。行くよ。アイテムで回復ね。突撃。突撃登る。行くぞ。行ける。これならどうだ。アイテムで回復ね。これがやる。どうだ。行ける。てい。こういう。燃え盛る。カモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモン。やれる。アイテムで回復ね。突撃。突撃。これで。Nice. Big crit. <laughs> のぞよ。Come on, build, hurry up. Ow. Got Good. I see you handle yourselves well and adjust quickly to unexpected events. It looks like you weren't wrong about them, Galdra. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Commander Galdra, what's this all about? 
Lord Zemrode here wanted to be sure you were capable. My apologies. Normally I'd never offer such a rude greeting. I am Zemrode, Premier of Gigante. I have been entrusted with the leadership of this land by the Emperor. A Premier, or whatever, doesn't have anything better to do than mess with people. Vaughn, shh. Vaughn, is it? You fight well, but you must learn to hide your hostility. With such naked aggression, you might truly be mistaken for an assassin next time. You'd best learn some self-control. I don't need your advice. Now tell us what you want. Vaughn, please watch the way you speak. <laughs> it's fun. It was I who summoned you here, by the way. Come with me. Very regal looking dude. I'm sorry for the crude way that was hand it was handled, but it was meant to prove your worth. Now, if you please, there's, there's, there's something we'd like you to see in the palace square. It made me use like half of everything I brought, literally on that one fight. That's insane. Uh, this the I can I can use. The Panacea, right? Yeah. Literally insane. These people are crazy. We studied the vocal suits you brought back from the Met Graveyard. Alright guys, real quick, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the fight with Zemrod, the premiere of this place, um, on the next part. We'll see what he has to say about the vocal suits. See you then.